building up your chest muscles can enhance your appearance, as well as make daily tasks much easier. If you want to get faster results, you won't want to miss this video of PARS Health TV. Do these great tips to help grow impressive chest muscles and optimize your training results. Keep watching. Number 10. Begin with the upper pecs. Any intermediate or advanced athlete understands that if you find a weakness in your game, then that is where you should begin so you can do it when you have the most energy. So when you arrange your exercises for chest day in the future, ensure the upper pecs are where you begin. While you might think that saving it for the end would be perfect because your other areas will already be tired, you can't give the upper pecs your ideal effort at that point. Commit your weakness to the first. At the time, you can hit it heavily and with maximum intensity. Number 9. Use a bodybuilding bench press style. The next one is to utilize a bodybuilding bench press style rather than a powerlifting one. Now I realize I may get some flack for this because bench pressing, similar to a powerlifter, is more trendy lately, but I'd like to describe some of the differences for you. The main distinction between the two bench pressing styles is that with the powerlifting bench press, you concentrate on maintaining the range of motion as short as you can because that aids you in lifting the most amount of weight possible. Number 8. Establish that mind-muscle connection early. At that time that Arnold Dude would train, he said he would take his mind to the muscle he wanted to work to maximize the outcome and stress he put upon it. This is precisely what you should do when training for upper pec progress. You should warm up and do each rep with the goal of feeling only that place working. You should slow down the reps, pause in between, and do whatever you have to do so that when you go through the set, the pressure is where you want it to be. Number 7. Grow impressive chest muscle. The first is that a full range of motion on the bench press will make higher levels of muscle trigger. Second, various parts of a motion target various parts of a muscle, and by going through a full range of motion, you are able to work the muscle in its entirety. And third, it's beneficial because you can overload your muscles in their stretched pose, and going through a partial range of motion isn't able to do that quite as well as a full range of motion. So, suppose your aim is to maximize muscle development. In that case, a bodybuilding bench pressing style is more effective than a powerlifting one. Number 6. Don't just use one angle. Whoever came up with the adjustable bench doesn't get the credit that they deserve. These benches let you set the angle of the bench so you can target multiple angles. This is the best for chest day. One problem with standard inclined benches is the angle hits too high and the delts become more involved than other parts. With those adjustable benches, you can lessen the incline without going flat. This low angle can aid you in blasting the upper pecs while minimizing the effect on your front delts. Utilize these various angles on your dumbbell work, and don't be afraid to shove that bench in a rack for barbell work, either. Number 5. Press your hands inward. Another thing that will be beneficial is to target pressing your hands inwards during barbell bench pressing and dumbbell hex pressing exercises. This is an easy technique adjustment that you can utilize to maximize chest development. When you are bench pressing, imagine that you are trying to get your hands together. This definitely won't happen since the barbell is fixed, and it won't flex. But concentrating on squeezing your hands together will boost the chest trigger as one of the primary functions of your chest is to do shoulder horizontal adduction. If you like the video, give a thumbs up button and never forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Number 4. Don't lock out. 
So when you press a dumbbell up, the triceps want to enter the party, so they take over at the time you lock out your joints. This is excellent for powerlifting, but this is bad if you want to work on your upper pecs. To maintain the pressure on the muscle you want to involve, you should stop the presses when your arms begin straightening out. As soon as you feel the triceps begin to trigger, you should stop and start dropping the weight back down. Number 3. Don't forget to decline. Wait. What? The decline is for lower pecs. Yes, you may be right. That is what several trainers and experts would have you think, and they do involve the bottom of the chest. As one study discovered that decline was the most functional angle for the whole chest area, which also contains the upper pecs. To put that extra pressure on the upper pecs, utilize a closer grip, say shoulder width apart, and drop the bar right to the bottom of the pecs. Number 2. Increase chest workout frequency. The next thing you should know to do if you've always been training for some time now is to improve chest workout frequency. In other words, work on your chest more repeatedly. Notice that this doesn't apply to beginners. If you're new to the gym, research indicates that you only have to train each muscle just once per week for optimal improvements. As a beginner, you can have a typical bro split by, for instance, training shoulders, chest, and triceps on Monday, back and biceps on Friday, and legs on Wednesday. You can also spread the training volume over more sessions and concentrate on one muscle group every day. The point is that, as a beginner, hitting each muscle just once a week is enough to get the best results. Number 1. Stretch between sets. This one is common for general training but is important here too. In between sets, you should stretch the chest to expand that fascia, a thin layered skin that covers your muscle fibers. This is so you can make more room for blood in the place. This is important for progress in strength and growth. Your pump at the end of the training session will be better for you to do this, which means your results will be better in the long run. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. And please share our videos with your friends to support our team. Thank you, guys, for tuning in.